11 dramatic helicopter video from the King County Sheriff's Office shows yesterday's chase through Kent that included carjackings and crashes. The 25 minute long video captured the two suspects grabbing and pulling drivers from their vehicles. Those suspects have since been arrested. We've learned one of them is a suspect in a murder case. Como's Hannah Knowles joining us now after pouring over these documents tonight. Hannah? Yeah, Mary Preston, this video, it is wild to watch. I'll dig into those court documents that you mentioned shortly, but first I want to break down this chase that you see here. Two carjackings and several crashes. Take a look. Passing traffic in the center turn lane going into oncoming lanes now. New video captured from up above shows this wild chase that left a trail of crushed cars behind. And continuing eastbound. A 26-year-old man and a 24-year-old woman inside this stolen white SUV. Swerving in and out of traffic, you see the car sideswipe the red Ford Explorer. They're getting out of the car, bailing, and it looks like they're trying to carjack another car. The two suspects jump out and pull the driver and passenger out of the car at the intersection before the man takes off. The woman he was with stays behind. He raised it up and said, get the f out or die. And so I did. I went to step out and he grabbed my arm and threw me on the ground. Following from up above, the next carjacking takes place just minutes later. Carry one, he's carjacking a second vehicle. The 26-year-old man jumps out of the red car and violently tears the woman driving the blue SUV out from behind the wheel. He just threw the female out of there. The nearly seven-mile chase then comes to a halt. The suspect crashes into another car at a nearby intersection. So far, still hasn't gotten out of the car. We got some county units on it. You see his hands in the air as officers surround the vehicle. The suspect is eventually arrested, leaving victims trying to sort out what to do next. I'm just curious what's going to happen now. Like, who's responsible for my car? And court documents don't go into detail about the murder case the man may be involved in. We're still working to learn more about that and expect more documents to come through tomorrow morning. Now, both are facing possible felony charges. The woman was booked for possession of a stolen vehicle, while the man was booked for eluding possession of a stolen vehicle, robbery, and hit and run. In the studio, Hannah Knowles, Come on News. Frightening video, Hannah, thank you. According to the Puget Auto Theft Task Force, reported car thefts were actually down last month. Its report for January shows 544 reports of stolen vehicles in Pierce County, with nearly 1,400 in King County. That's an average of more than 62 thefts every day. Statewide, there have been nearly 3,200 vehicles reported stolen so far this year, and that's down 21% compared to a year ago.